My name is David DiFilippo, and I'm the youth pastor at Refuge City Church in Klamath Falls, Oregon. This past year, we had the opportunity to bring Reggie Dabbs to Klamath Falls to do a school assembly tour. Throughout a school assembly tour, we reached out to 18 different schools over 10 assemblies in three days. I want to thank the Oregon youth for believing in Klamath Falls because without you, we could not have reached out to those different schools and to all those different students. There's so many different stories that I've heard since we did the school assembly tour. Stories of students' lives being changed forever. Stories of students who were planning on committing suicide and didn't because Reggie spoke his message of hope to them and it changed their life. One story I'd like to share with you is about a young lady that I met at Subway. I went there one evening as I walked through the doors, there was this young lady behind the counter that I walked up to that greeted me. And she started asking me about what I, what I was doing for the evening and what I did for a living. And so I actually got to tell her about how I was a youth pastor and I was actually that, that day there um, in that part of town to speak at another youth group. And so I just kind of started talking to her about what I did and it really kind of caught her attention. She's like, so you're a youth pastor full time? And I'm like, yeah. She's like, that's really cool. Can you tell me about what you do? And so I started sharing with her different things about what I do. And then knowing that we had just been in all the schools, I figured it might be a, a cool connecting point to bring up the Reggie Dabbs tour. And so I said, hey, what school do you go to? And she let me know the school. And I'm like, this might help you understand what I do. Did you get to go to the Reggie Dabbs School Assembly Tour? And at first she was like, hmm, Reggie Dabbs, I'm not sure. And then just because it's the way Reggie kind of opened up, I said, it's the black guy that just spoke at your school. She's like, oh, yes, I know him. That was amazing. And at that moment, it's like all of a sudden, everything inside of her heart shifted and she began to open up. She's like, I, don't, I know you don't know this, but, but Reggie spoke so deeply into the heart and lives of my friends. She's like, a lot of my friends are being raised by their grandparents. Their parents either, either abandon them or are in prison and there's kind of a family dynamic that's really hard. And so a lot of my friends carry the weight of feeling abandoned, feeling like they're not good enough, good enough, feeling like they're not wanted. And so as Reggie shared his message of hope and being adopted, they felt like all of a sudden that there was a hope available for them. I'll never forget her looking at me and going, Klamath Falls, doesn't get things like this. And so for us to have someone like Reggie to speak into the lives of our students, she's like, we'll never forget how powerful and how important that was. So once again, I wanna thank you, Oregon Youth, because without you, we wouldn't be able to have stories and moments and testimonies about what God did. Every one of those students reflects a story, a life that was changed, a person that will never be the same again. And you play a role in that. So thank you for believing in Klamath Falls.